Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In my last class I have covered about different types of projections and in that class I have also covered the scale. Today we will be solving some numerical on scale. Those of you who have not watched my previous video that is on maps and charts I request you to watch that video so that you have a better understanding of what we are going to be doing on this particular class. To have a recap, we have learned in my last class that scale of a map or a chart is equal to the length on the chart upon the length onto the earth. Some more additional things you must keep in mind is to remember these conversion effectors that is one nautical mile is equal to 6080 feet or 1852 meters and one meter is equivalent to 3.28 feet and one inches is equal to 2.54 centimeters and decimal 54 nautical mile is equal to one kilometer. First thing we must always remember is that the representative factor does not have any unit. See in this particular example the representative factor is given as 1 is to 1 million that is the scale of this particular map or the chart is 1 is to 1 million. So this can be expressed as 1 centimeter on the particular chart or the map will be equivalent to 1 million centimeters onto the ground and similarly, if we say the same thing, that is in terms of inches, that one inch will be equivalent to one million inches on ground. So since it involves two units, that is one in centimeters, meters and kilometers and another in inches, feet and in nautical miles, the idea is to bring all of them okay, into one common unit before solving. You will realize it while we proceed ahead. In the first numerical, one centimeter on a chart represents six kilometers on ground. Give the scale as a representative fraction. So it says that one centimeter is equal to six kilometers. So I need to bring all of them into the same unit here. So I will multiply 6 by 1000. So it gives me 6000 meters which when converted to centimeters will give me 600,000 centimeters. So it means that 1 centimeter on this particular map or chart will represent 600,000 centimeters on ground. So the scale of this projection or map or the chart which can express in representative factor will be equal to 1 is to 600,000 or you can say 1 upon 600,000. Numerical number 2, it's a cross one that is 1 centimeter on a chart represents 6 nautical mile on ground. Give the scale as a representative fraction. So in the previous example, what we have taken was 6 kilometers. They were in the same unit. Now I have given it into nautical miles. So first thing is either to convert this 6 nautical miles in terms of centimeters or this centimeters may be converted into inches. So here in this example, I have solved it. I have converted 6 nautical miles in terms of centimeters. And we know that 6, 1 nautical mile is equal to 1852 meters. So we 6 which when multiplied by 1852 will give me in meters. Again, if we multiply this value by 100, it will give me the length of 6 nautical miles as 1111200 centimeters. So therefore, in this particular chart, 1 centimeter will represent 1111200 centimeters, which when expressed as a scale, the RF, the representative factor of this scale, of this chart, scale is 1 is to 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, or you can express it 1 upon 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 
zero zero. Let's go to the third numerical. Five inches on a chart represent sixty kilometers on ground. Give the scale of this chart in terms of a representative fraction. So it says five inches on the chart is equivalent to six kilometers. So either I can convert this five inches into centimeters or sixty kilometers into nautical miles. But however, in this example, I have converted 5 inches into centimeters. So the conversion factor was 2.54. So 5 into 2.54 will give me 12 centimeters, which will be equivalent to 6 million centimeters on the ground. This 6 million is nothing but this 60 kilometers converted into centimeters. So therefore, 1 centimeter will represent 6 million upon 12.7 centimeter which gives me 472441 centimeter so the scale of this projection or the chart which when expressed as a representative factor will be 1 is to 472441 or you can say 1 upon 472441 the next numerical the representative fraction of a chart is 1 is to 1 million. How many inches centimeters will represent 60 kilometer onto the chart? So I will solve how many centimeters first and then convert it into inches or you can also solve it into inches first and then convert it into centimeters. So in this first example I have converted this kilometers into centimeters now. So it says that 1 centimeter will be equivalent to 1 million centimeters on ground. So this 1 million which when converted into kilometers will be 10 kilometers. So 1 centimeter on chart will be equivalent to 10 kilometers on ground. So 60 kilometers will be represented by 60 centimeters. So the answer is 60 centimeters. So if I have to convert this 60, 6 centimeters into inches, I need to divide 6 by 2.54, which is the conversion factor, which will give me 2.36 inches. As I was telling you in the beginning that I can solve this numerical in two ways in the next I will be solving in inches. So now as I said that the representative factor of a chart does not have any unit. So in the previous example I took 1 centimeter is equal to 1 million centimeter. So in this example I will be taking 1 inches is equivalent to 1 million inches onto the ground. So this 1 million inches okay, which when multiplied by 2.54 will give me in terms of centimeters. So this 1 inches is equal to 2540000 centimeters on ground. So 1 inches on the chart is representing 25.4 kilometers on ground. So this 25.4 kilometers is represented by 1 inches onto the chart. So therefore 1 kilometers will be represented by 1 upon 25.4 inches onto the chart. Therefore, 60 kilometers will be represented by 60 into 1 upon 25.4 inches, which will 2.36 inches onto the chart. This inches, which when converted into centimeters, need to be multiplied by the conversion factor that is 2.54 and we get 6 centimeters as the answer. So, let's compare these two answers with the previous one. So, they are the same. Sometimes, there may be a little difference okay in terms of the decimals because basically because of the rounding off so that is okay determine the distance in inches on a chart which would represent the distance flown by an aircraft in six minutes at the ground speed of 200 knots so in this particular chart five centimeter represents five nautical mile so now we need to see the how much is the distance which is covered by this aircraft in 6 minutes. So 200 is my ground speed. In 6 minutes, this aircraft will travel 20 nautical miles. So in this particular chart, 5 nautical mile is represented by 5 centimeters on the chart. So this 20 nautical mile will be represented by 20 centimeters onto the chart. So therefore, 20 centimeters 
is equivalent to 20 upon 2.54 inches 54 inches which is equal to 7.87 inches onto the ground so we have solved this numerical in terms of centimeters also and in terms of inches the last numerical you can practice is yourself on a chart with a scale of 1 is to 50,000, the distance between two fixes measures 50 centimeters. If the time between the two fixes is 10 minutes, calculate the ground speed of the aircraft in knots and uh, in kilometers per hour. So ladies and gentlemen, you can solve this numerical and uh, forward it in the as a comment if you want to check the answer of this problem. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.